Let's learn about conditional operators in C. They are also called as ternary operators since they take three arguments. So they are basically of the form expression 1, expression 2 and expression 3 as shown on your screen. Expression 1 is like condition. If this condition evaluates to true then expression 2 gets executed. Or else if expression 1 is false then expression 3 gets executed. I'll illustrate that using an example now. Let me take another variable c. So now c is equal to, I'll write the basic structure here, get used to it. So first thing is the condition. If a plus b results in true, then it returns 10. If it's false, then it returns 20. So guess the output of this. a plus b is 2. 2 means true. Any non-zero number is true in C programming. So 10 gets returned and is stored in C. Okay, C value is 10. For A minus B, 1 minus 1 is 0. So 0 means false. So 20 is returned. C is 20 now. Okay. So this is the basic form of ternary operator. We can even, uh, even write nested ternary operators like this as shown here. I'll just show the general form. I don't write any expression or we can have nesting here. So that's a possibility and we will show that in biggest of three number example I guess in, in two or three days time we'll show that also. So we can even write like this. So assign c value directly inside the expression. This is possible too. So I'll show you. c is equal to 20 now because a minus b is 0. Now a plus b is true so c is equal to 10 gets printed out. So this is the basic form of ternary operator. So next up we will show biggest of two number, biggest of three numbers using these ternary operators and you will know more about that in viva and interview question series, video series soon. So stay tuned please follow the link present in the description section of this youtube video and do not forget to share this video with your friends and please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.